Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, I just wanted to give a quick reminder for you guys to please like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching me play Red Dead Redemption for the first time. Are you guys- are you the guys that's killed me three times? Alrighty then, let's come over here. Let's grab a bounty. And... See if we can earn a little extra money. And then we'll do another mission. Let's come out here this way. Let's see what uh, what this guy had had on him here. Perry Rose, Walton's gang. He's wanted for assault in Mescalero. 160 alive. He's worth 80 dead, which we usually just kill him because I'm not good at lassoing, so. Alright, I'm going to be taking us a roundabout route, but... We'll get there. At some point I need to see what I have left in my survivalist challenges as well. Because we might as well be doing those while we are... ...on the way. Hope they weren't watching me from uh, the top of their hideout there. Let's go. Yeah. Let's uh. Take it carefully here. I don't see him yet, but we're close. So yeah, we've got our Winchester ready. Sneak up here and get the high ground on them.
mean, I probably could take this guy alive. Where is he? Is it you? Come on, horse. I need you. Come on, boy. I just leave it with you. Let's go. Is that what we're doing? Got something for you. Much appreciated. You're welcome. Nice. Let's go over here, sell some stuff, get some money. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Something you need. Let's get a map. Nice doing business with you. Okay, I got some shelf space needs filling. That's all I got for you right now. Good, honest profit. Good, honest profit. That's right. Now, does Bonnie have a gunsmith here in her little village? I don't think she does. Let's check out a journal. All right, so I still need some more Desert Sage and Gaptooth Ridge. I need to kill probably one more bird. It looks like one or two more birds. There's a new treasure I can try to find. I need some deer. And none of this stuff we really started or tried to do. So it's really just the survivalist stuff that I've been working on. So birds, deer, and then once I'm in Gap Tooth, then I need to get some Desert Sage. And I won't worry about the treasure map yet. All right, but for now... Let's get out our map and go see... You know what, let's uh... Let's pay off our bounty first. Come on. Not sure why I have a, bo a bounty. But I do. Got a newspaper? Hello. We're going in the long way. Can I, uh... Sir? Uh, hello, sir. Not tell me I needed to pay off my bounty. Am 
I in the wrong spot? Alright, well. Guess I'm just confused. Is this where you pay off your bounty? Hello? Nobody home. Yeah, I don't know. Hello. Howdy. You're going to make me late. Jump on in. Well, that being the case, then let's go see. Oh, uh, should we do Irish? We need to go over here to Gap Tooth at some point. Seth's over here too. Let's do Irish first and then we'll make our way over to do Seth's mission. Yeah, let's go see Irish. Not sure what that was about, but this is mighty generous of you, mister. Got him. Keep moving, never mind. I don't want to skin no horses, though. I don't like it when he does that. Keep on going over to Irish. Not exactly sure what I did there. If that was uh, a good thing or a bad thing. Stranger? Hello? John. John Marston. Who are you? Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty what? girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon, and her brain was plastered over a wall. Yikes. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? Well, why would I do that? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. I don't know about you, sir. I have other plans, though. Let's go. I 
don't know which guys I want to kill. Okay. I should have killed the bad guy. I didn't know those were deputies. That makes sense. I keep going, though. Where am I at? Bonnie's? Back at Bonnie's again? Or I, am I actually in Armadillo? I'm back at Bonnie's. Alright, let's get out of here. So I don't know if it saved that stranger mission then since I got killed or... If I'm still good. Yeah, I can help a lady. Kill him. Where is he? It's behind the horse. Yeah, the key was to just kill the lady, too. Finally beat those guys. Those guys have been, uh... Killing me non-stop. What about you? I know this ain't very dignified of me. But you kill me four times, and that's what you get. Alright, where's my horse? So hopefully I don't have to face those guys again, now that I've finally taken care of them. Let's see if we can finally get over here and see Irish. I don't really like doing missions at night, but it looks like this is going to be a nighttime mission again. Go. Another stranger. Why don't you come rest a while? Sure. Hello. Howdy, partner. Howdy. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh, y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth, uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. <laughs> nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east, so. Man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. <laughs> yeah. They sure do. Fools. Bet well, you don't I even don't know, know about how that. much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper tie for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water. Build us a proper wellspring. Hmm. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Come on. 
All right, so we got a couple of stranger missions then, right? Down here and see old Irish in the dead of night. Where are you? A Frenchman, a Welshman, and an Irishman. Yes, boy, you, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy You thieving Nick. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. I got a mouth on you. When a man with a sing song voice tells me to. Off. It always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This Patty stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. So your mom was too busy putting blisters on her back to teach you men. <laughs> a Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life. Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. <laughs> Untrustworthy. Poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> you owe me, sir. What about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. She's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. All right, let's go. Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. Come on then, let's find this guy. Let's go. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> yeah, you almost More did. Those fine specimens of humanity. They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa mm -hmm. always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. Yeah. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. I just ran down the cliff. <laughs> you can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. Thank One goodness for cutscenes. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. Of course I'm you will. From long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. I just want to talk. Back off now before I put a hole in your skull. No need for that. My tail's over, kid. I killed dog. 
I'll need some medicine. Death be the great equalizer, my friend. Can I not get any of these guys? All right, let's uh get out the old the old faithful thing then. Poke your head back up here. Just drop the gun. It ain't worth it. John, he's dead. It's pretty much been dropped at this point. My apologies, mister. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's not here. That lion sec. Irish. Where's my horse? There he is. Come on. Irish, I'm going to kill you. What? What happened? Did Irish kill me or did I just fall off the cliff? It wasn't that far of a drop. All right, this seems like a good place to take a break. We're going to have to kill Irish in the next episode, so make sure you stick around if you want to see that. If you made it all the way to the end, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. But either way, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.